What's going on everybody, Gareth with FCB Hero. Welcome back to another DIY video. Today we're gonna to be working on this F30 328i X drive behind us and we're gonna be replacing the front diff oil. So we have here in front of us are two drain plugs. Well, actually one's a drain plug and one's a fill plug. Fortunately, the front differential on the F30s do have a drain and fill plug. However, there are some F chassis cars that don't have a drain plug, so you are forced to siphon it out through the top, but in this case, we don't have to do that. Uh, we are using this genuine gear oil. Uh, it is the only gear oil currently on the market that is compatible with the front differential. BMW's moved towards these lower viscosities gear oils uh, to help reduce fuel consumption. So unfortunately, a normal traditional 7590 is not going to be the best option to go with at this time. This is a relatively straightforward DIY uh, with the exception of getting the vehicle up in the air. There's not really too many tools where you need to do this job. Uh, so. With that said, let's talk about some of the tools you need to do this, and then we'll go ahead and jump into the video. So some of the tools you're gonna to want to service the front differential on your F30, uh, X drive car, eight millimeter slash 10 millimeter socket for removing the splash shield, half inch you know, breaker bar or ratchet, uh, 17 millimeter Allen socket for removing the drain and fill plug, half inch extension to reach the fill plug, and then a torque wrench that can do at least 70 new meters of torque. So now that we've talked about some of the tools we're gonna need, let's go and get right into it. I'll show you how simple this is to do. So the first thing that we do when servicing the front differential, we have to remove the splash shield here in the front, uh, which is held in by a bunch of eight millimeter self-tapping screws. Pretty simple, just remove all those screws and the whole panel will come down and out. Now on these X-Drive cars, you do have this reinforcement plate on, on the F30 chassis. You do not need to remove this to do the service. And the front diff fortunately has both a drain plug and a fill plug. So we can actually, don't have to extract fluid from this. The drain plug is just to the right of the axle and you need to use an extension to get in there. It's a 14 millimeter. Rule of thumb here is remove the uh, fill plug first before you drain the fluid because if you drain the fluid but then find that you can't remove the fill plug, you got a problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that first. These are torqued to 60 new meters from the factory. Um, but once they break torque, they do come out pretty easily. Uh, and ours did come out pretty easily there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the plug entirely. That will help the differential drain quicker. And for those of you curious what that looks like, you can see the fill hole just to the right of the axle there. So that's what you're looking for. And then our drain plug is the same, 14 millimeter Allen. There's our old fluid. See it drained very quickly. There's really not that much in there. It's a pretty tiny front diff on these X drive cars. The drain and fill plug are both the same. So they're both 14 millimeter, they're both torqued to 60 newton meters, and they both have this green vite and seal on the back side of it. So you are supposed to replace these because it is that rubber seal that does um, create the seal, it's not like a, a pipe thread or anything like that, so you wanna make sure that you use new, new plugs, even though you typically can reuse these, it is best to replace them just to prevent any leaks in the future. And like I said, tightening torque is 60 newton meters, which comes up very quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use this CTA fluid pump. Gear oil that we're using is the Hypoid Axle Oil G2. This is specifically for the front uh, differentials on BMWs. There really aren't any aftermarket fluids at this time. We're just gonna go ahead and pump the fluid in. Like I said, uh, total capacity on this, it's gonna be a little bit less than one liter. And it's already pouring out, so we've hit our fill capacity there. I'd say we used about seven tenths of a liter. Like I said, it's a very tiny diff, so there really isn't that much gear oil in there. Go ahead and install our fill plug now that some of that excess fluid has come out. And then our tightening torque on the fill plug, same as the drain plug, 60 newton meters. And we're just gonna come in here with a little bit of brake parts cleaner. 
and get some of that excessive gear, you know, the excess gear oil that's poured out, we'll get it out of there. And I'll wipe the rest down with a shop rag. We reinstall our uh, splash shields now, eight millimeter fasteners, with the exception of one in the rear that's a 10. So as you can see, the surface is actually really simple. Uh, while it might seem intimidating with some basic hand tools, you could definitely go ahead and take this job on yourself. And while BMW does not have service ratings for things like differential and transfer cases and all these other things, uh, we do recommend doing these services on your own car to extend the service life of these components because differentials and transfer cases and all these things cost a lot of money. And even though BMW has made it a little bit more difficult for you to do it, you could still do it even with those basic hand tools that we show you in this video. So we hope you learned something. If you have any questions or comments, leave in the comment box below. We'll definitely get back to you with any question that you have. Hit that like button. Also hit subscribe. We have a lot more videos on the way. And as always, we'll see you for the next one. Thank you for the support.